Pretty fun game, partner. It's video Bison fans can't see enough of the electric moments on Friday night right after the team won their trip to Frisco, Texas for a shot at another FCS championship. Bison football players are going to be better prepared to play the fiddle in the band when they head to Texas this year. That's because of some observant middle school students who saw that victory violin. They wanted to make sure the team was up to the task. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway went back to class for a music lesson. If you're going to play in Texas, you've got to have a fiddle in the band. The Bison boys raised the roof of the dome when they played off the traditional victory song after winning last Friday's semifinal match. But there's just something missing in your song if your form isn't right. It was the, like the on chest. his chin or like yeah, chest, chest almost. And then his bow hold was like... Like just like, like gripping yeah, on it. Horizon West music teacher Brian Cole lent the team his classroom violins for the gridiron celebration, inviting one of the players in for a lesson. His young maestros are getting the chance to set him straight. From North Dakota, offensive tackle 6'6", six -six, Cody Mauk. About a hundred children cheered for the Bison All-Star, a true Viking Warriors welcome. Hey guys. While many sit star-stricken, they're quick to correct his musicianship. I mean, as you look at his posture, guys, look over there in the left. What does he have some issues? Yeah. Sixth graders Courage Saya and Jalen Bojanreef show the giant how it's done. So, like, put these ones right there. Here, why don't you hold it and show me? Okay. Though twice their age and maybe twice their size. The lesson is quickly successful. How's that look, guys? Yes. Uh, let's give them a Much hand. better. Right, now let's be more aggressive, like a you know a. Dad All right, let's give them a hand. Thanks, guys. As lesson time wrapped up, the man with NFL in his future took some time to meet and chat with the students. How do you think he did? He did amazing, in my opinion, and he's huge. While he may inspire future football stars. They might have inspired him to take up a new instrument. You're going to take it up as a hobby? Yeah, I might, honestly. It's kind of fun. There's just three strings. Can't be that hard, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he could do it. Pro mm -hmm. violin player? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just needs, right. needs more five practice. more years yeah. of training. As Mauk spends the next few weeks rosing up that bow for faded love, he'll remember to not jam the violin perpendicular to his chest should he once again have a fiddle in the band. Nick Broadway, WDAY News. He'll take his newfound fiddle skills and football talent in Frisco, Texas, January 8th. They take on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits for the FCS title. You can see that game right here on WDAY. He was such a good sport. Oh. Those kids are adorable. And nervy <laughs> to tell a 6'6", 300-pound guy, you, you, need, you need five more years, right? <laughs>